Joe Burrow is heading to the Super Bowl with the Cincinnati Bengals, but when he was in college at Ohio State, he had trouble getting off the bench. This is the tragic but inspiring story of quarterback Joe Burrow. All eyes are on Joe Burrow ahead of Super Bowl 56, with the Cincinnati Bengals winning the AFC Championship and making it to the 2022 Super Bowl for the first time in over 30 years. The pressure is on Burrow like perhaps never before. Prior to the big matchup, he looked up to the challenge. The athlete impressed football fans with an 18-point comeback against the defending conference champions, the Kansas City Chiefs, before winning the game in overtime. Not only will Burrow be playing in his first Super Bowl in only his second year as an NFL player, but the win came only two years after he won the College Football National Championship while at Louisiana State University. Burrow revealed to the press that he was shocked by how quickly he and his team reached the top. I think if you would have told me before the season that we'd be going to the Super Bowl, I probably would have called you crazy, but then, you know, we played a whole season and, you know, nothing surprises me now. He now has the chance to make history as the first quarterback to win the College Football National Championship, a Heisman Trophy, and the Super Bowl. In November 2020, when Joe Burrow was only in his first season of playing in the NFL, the Cincinnati Bengals quarterback suffered a serious knee injury that almost ended his entire football career. While playing against the Washington football team, Burrow tore his ACL and MCL, and also partially tore his PCL and meniscus. His father, Jim Burrow, recalled to the New York Post, Once they called us from the locker room, Joe and the doctors, and we knew it was a significant injury. Despite the grim outlook, Jim added that his son was focused on physical rehab, getting his body ready for the new season. Joe had to sit out the rest of that year and went on to have reconstructive surgery. But recovery wasn't easy, with the QB dishing to Sports Illustrated. It was pretty miserable. It was tough for me to do anything by myself, whether it was shower, go to the bathroom, all of that. He went on to play the next season, but his knee wouldn't be the last of his injuries. Joe Burrow's knee injury and recovery didn't just cause him physical pain, it also led him to struggle mentally. It seems the former college champion knew that his injury could mean an end to his NFL career, and having to make a major comeback with physical limitations was tough on the athlete. In 2021, he explained to CBS Sports that he didn't feel his strongest as he trained for the new season. You know, the beginning of camp, I was going through a little mental hurdle that I had to get over. The quarterback added that he overcame his challenges by, quote, attacking every day with an intensity that I think is necessary to get me back. Burrow admitted his confidence was shaken, though revealing to Inside Training Camp Live, I didn't really expect it to be that way, but the first week there was a lot on my mind. It's a mental thing, getting back to playing football against top-level competition. However, Burrow didn't seem worried about opening up about his internal struggle, perhaps because he's spoken about mental health before. In 2019, during the SEC media days, Burrow told reporters, you know, being manly is expressing your feelings. It is important to talk about adversity that you faced and low points in your life to show that it is okay to be depressed. It is okay to be sad and anxious and have anxiety. If a nearly career-ending knee injury wasn't enough for Joe Burrow to deal with, the Cincinnati Bengals star suffered two more serious injuries in 2021 that caused some setbacks. ESPN reports that in October of that year, the quarterback experienced a painful throat contusion during a game against the Green Bay Packers. The injury was apparently so bad that Burrow had to be admitted to a hospital for treatment instead of being cared for by his team's doctors. Reporter Kelsey Conway tweeted at the time, He's having trouble speaking. He won't be made available to the media as he usually is following the game. Burrow went on to sit out several media appearances for the sake of resting his voice. In December 2021, Burrow got injured on the field again, breaking his pinky finger during a game against the Los Angeles Chargers. As if that wasn't bad enough, the injury was to his throwing hand. He explained to the press, Anytime you have a finger injury on your throwing hand, it's going to take some tweaking to see how you're going to be able to throw the ball. That wasn't the only time Burrow hurt his throwing hand either. The athlete sat out part of the 2017 season at Ohio State after breaking a bone in his right hand. Burrow recalled to Letterman Row, It happened during inside drill. Chris Worley thought I had the ball, realized it late, and hit my hand. It was just a freak thing. Joe Burrow may call Cincinnati home these days, but the Bengals quarterback moved around a lot as a child because of his father's job. While the Burroughs originally hailed from northern Mississippi, Joe spent the first few years of his life in Ames, Iowa, where dad Jim Burrow worked as a football coach. However, 
When it comes to Joe's memories there, Jim told the Des Moines Register, ultimately what he knows is what he's been told. He was pretty young back then. From there, Jim got a job as an assistant coach for the Nebraska Cornhuskers. As a result, Joe spent some of his childhood in Lincoln and said he hoped to return there to play college football one day. He dished to college game day. I had one offer after my junior year of high school, and it was my dad's team. I wanted to go to Nebraska. The Burroughs then moved to Fargo, North Dakota for a few years, after Jim became the defensive coordinator for the North Dakota State Bison. Eventually, Jim landed a job at Ohio University, which brought Joe to Athens, Ohio, the place he considers his hometown. While it had to be hard for Joe to constantly have to make new friends every few years, it seems he got through it all by playing sports. Speaking about his time in Athens, his dad told WGNO, A lot of people at this school and on that field and here around town have a lot to do with his journey, and the journey continues. Fans may not know that NFL star Joe Burrow grew up near a poverty-stricken area of Ohio. It appears that seeing some of his friends and classmates go hungry had an impact on him. The football player even shed light on the issue in his 2019 Heisman Trophy acceptance speech. It's a very, very impoverished area, and the, the, the poverty rate is almost two times the, the national average. And Burrow made it clear he hadn't forgotten where he came from, saying, I'm up here for all those kids in Athens and Athens County that go home to not a lot of food on the table, hungry after school. Burrow continued to share this message during an interview with the New York Times. He recalled the paper of record. I'd lived in upper middle class neighborhoods before we moved to Athens and the Plains. I understood it was a poor area when I was young. You see these low income homes that I hadn't really seen before. The NFL star also added that it took time for him to understand the meaning behind his friends' and acquaintances' living conditions, saying, You don't really understand the magnitude until you get older. The quarterback went on to create the Joe Burrow Hunger Relief Fund. His Heisman speech also reportedly led to an increase in volunteers at Athens food pantries, according to the Bengals' website. One volunteer even admitted, Joe Burrow is the reason I'm here. I saw his speech and I thought, I'll volunteer for the food pantry. He inspired us. It's no secret that Joe Burrow had a hard time at Ohio State University. Despite getting recruited for football, he barely got any time on the field, serving only as the team's backup and then third-string quarterback during his time there. It probably didn't help that his then-coach, Urban Meyer, had been reported to have been especially hard on him, even allegedly telling him that he, quote, threw like a girl. Speaking to the media in 2019, Burrow recalled, when he gets a new quarterback there as a freshman, he kind of pokes and prods them to see what they can take, so he would be back there yelling at me. The pressure he was put under was apparently noticeable to his parents. His mother, Robin Burrow, told Sports Illustrated that because of the stressful working conditions, she would often visit her son at college just for the sake of taking him out for ice cream. She also didn't let the distance between them stop her from being a mom, saying, I would drive up on Sundays and trade out his laundry with a new batch that was clean, so he didn't have to worry about that. Robin explained why she felt that helped, saying that she wanted to keep his life feeling as normal and stress-free as possible, so that he would keep pushing through the challenges on his way to achieving football greatness. While Ohio State didn't necessarily work out for Joe, he appears grateful for that difficult period. He explained in 2019, I wouldn't be the same player that I am today without those trials and tribulations that I went through there. Part of what makes certain people great is the adversity that they've had to go through. Things not going as planned at Ohio State led Joe Burrow to make the difficult decision to transfer to Louisiana State University late in his college career. In 2019, he explained his original expectations to college game day, saying that he initially thought, I'll sit for two years, and then I'll have a great career. That's just not how it worked out. Being told he wasn't good enough to start had to hurt too, but it was apparently something that he was used to hearing since recruiting began. He admitted that Ohio State was originally the only big-time offer that he had on the table. While he was initially grateful for the opportunity, Joe eventually had to leave Ohio State so he could get more time on the field. The decision, he said, was heartbreaking. He recalled in 2019, It was pretty emotional. They didn't want me to leave, and I didn't want to leave. That was my first career. That's where I went to college first. That's where I learned to become a man. It was hard. Dad Jim Burrow reiterated his son's feelings to the New York Post, saying, that was a tough time for Joe. He really had good friends and good teammates. He went there to win a national championship. Was he willing to move on and give up that chance? It took a while for him to make that decision. 
These days, Joe Burrow has advice for college players who may be in a similar situation, advising younger players to think their options through and not make emotional decisions. Joe Burrow appears to be very close with his family. That's why it had to be very hard on the whole clan when his older brother, Jamie Burrow, and his wife, Cody, lost their unborn twins when she was four months pregnant in 2019. However, the Burrows got through the tragedy together. Jamie told Sports Illustrated, we've got a good extended family. He was also sure to point out that little brother Joe's Heisman Trophy victory that year helped them get through the loss. He said, the way I was raised, in the darkest moment you find a silver lining. One of the positives is that now we were able to watch all of Joe's games. We were just like, let's just enjoy Joe's last college season. It's bought us time to heal. Their father, Jim Burrow, also seemingly feels that Joe's football career has helped the family. It's brought our family more together than it's ever been. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Nikki Swift videos about your favorite sports stars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.